What's up guys, welcome to Party with the G's, I'm your host Gordy, I gotta be honest with you guys, I feel like something's been a little off this week about me, I don't know, I feel like something got into me or something. Hey man, you wanna see something cool? Sure. Alright. So guys, that was our weekly short. If you want to see more of those, just click here. Um, so I'm covering for Gordy because he's having some troubles backstage right now. But uh, so let's forget about that. Let's get on with our show. Come on, you, let's you, go. You guys have to leave. Jump the wall. I'll hold them off. We're not leaving you. You have to. I'll hold them off. Come with us. I can't. I can't climb the wall. What? Nothing, just go! I'm not gonna leave you. Thank God. <laughs> oh my God! Hey dudes, welcome back to our channel. Hi. Um, so today we're gonna like teach you how to like, catch some ghosts. I'm I'm Terry. This is my friend Jim, and hey. we're gonna teach you how to catch some ghosts. Yeah. So you're gonna need a list of supplies. You need uh, goggles, uh, duct tape, vacuum, and a jar. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't forget a vacuum. All right. So that. Okay. Let's get all these things. Ready? One, two, three. Okay. So now that we got all these things, if you guys don't have all these things. Go ahead and have your uh, your mom or, or somebody run to the store and grab them. Uh, Terry, I told you to get a bear mason jar. We didn't have any. Well, guys, don't make the same mistake Terry did. Uh, because uh, you need a bear mason jar because this is where your ghost is going to be staying for all of eternity. So, the first step, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to gear up. So, you guys got your goggles, Terry. Very good. Uh, let me put this down. Uh -huh. So, dudes, the first step here um, is to put the duct tape over the goggles. Uh, that way you uh, don't see the ghosts and don't get scared. Yeah, dudes. So this is for like when you're not scared of the ghosts because you can't see them. Right. You know? Yeah. That's what I said. Okay, dudes. So the next step, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the uh, ghost vacuum. Yeah. Okay. Right? So Terry, down there. There's the vacuum. Yep. For sure. Cool it. the noodle. Yep. Got it. All right. Cool it, Terry. Helpful tip, dudes. Um, so if you don't want to drop a glass jar, go ahead and just use a big plastic jar. We got this big jug here because we want to give our ghosts a nice and cozy place to stay for all of eternity. Safety first, dudes. Yes. You want to want to hook this up to the vacuum here? Why don't you hold that, uh, Terry? I'm gonna duct tape this right now. If I could grab this. So you're gonna want to duct tape you're it. You're gonna want to put the vacuum right on the jar. Yeah. So you're gonna want to duct tape it. Everybody knows ghosts can't escape duct tape. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You can never have too much duct tape. Okay, dude, so step three is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do a little role play. So I'm gonna be the ghost, he's gonna be the ghost hunter, and we're gonna demonstrate what to do and how to do it. This is exactly how you do it. Yeah, so you're gonna wanna put the goggles on, because mm -hmm. you don't wanna be scared of the ghost. Because I'm the ghost. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. Jim, are you okay? Jim? So essentially, dudes, you're not really supposed to hit the ghost, uh, but Terry started hitting me because 
I hang out with his sister last week, and I think he's just trying to get back at me. But just cool it. So what you're is really trying to do, uh, boys, uh, is um, you're gonna try to suck the, the ghost in a little jar like this. So then uh, they can stay nice and cool, and you can uh, keep. Them. All right, boys. So the last step is to when you have your ghost, you want to make sure that you cap it real quick. Yeah. Because so, the ghost can leave anytime he wants. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just. Here, ready, three, two, one. Pull, oh, Terry, pull! Oh. Now we got him secure, and he's never leaving. That is how you catch a ghost. <laughs> Alright, dude, so now it's time for three quick tips on catching ghosts. So, our first tip is to always keep your mouth closed when you're catching ghosts because you don't want a ghost to go in your mouth. Right. Uh, and then the second tip is remember, you're not a professional, so if you need help, go ahead and call Ghostbusters. They're always open. <laughs> and our last tip is ghosts hate garlic. Nothing. I think that's vampires. No? Yeah. Don't smoke. You know what's even scarier than monsters? Smoking. So, each year we have a family tradition for bobbing for apples. Last year's champion was Gil, but there will be a new champion this year. We got, like, I don't know, maybe 10 apples in here. Um, we're gonna bob it. Yeah, I won last year. I got six apples in 30 seconds. It's pretty good. I'll um, be timing for my phone. All right. All right, this is gonna be interesting. I don't know if you can hear us right now, but you're going underwater. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Good day. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Ah, I was almost there. You go first. Are we doing 30 seconds? You're the reigning champion. 30 uh, seconds? Yeah. Hold up. Ready? 30 seconds. Ready? Three, two, one. Start. Oh my god. One. Oh dear. Okay. It's a little. It's a little wet here, so Thank you guys so much for joining us on Party with the G's this week. We only have one Halloween episode left, so make sure to tune in next week. And tell us what was your favorite, the skits or the vlogs. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.